So welcome back to another post bag. It's been a while and so there's quite a lot of stuff. I sort of opened a few, so sorry about that. But anyway, we'll get started with some of these, shall we? There are a lot and I'm not sure I remember what all of them are. I know what some of them are, certainly. And I haven't put post-it notes on any of them, so I'm just gonna have to make sure they stay the right way up. So let's start with, let's not start with that one because I think I know what that is. Let's start with this one that actually doesn't have a label on it at all because it came out of another package. So let's, uh, oh, okay, there is something that side. Let's see what we've got. Okay, cool. Oh, these look interesting. So these are Soglas breadboards. I mean, it's they're fairly generic, aren't they? They'd look normal, but these ones look slightly different to the ones I normally use. I haven't got one. Oh no, here's one. So, I mean, this one's quite dirty, obviously, but it was never as white as these. You can actually see from the side here, this one is sort of semi-transparent, where these are completely opaque. So we'll see how I get on with those, but I needed some more because I don't want to take any part, take apart any of the projects I've done already. So uh, just needed some extras. So we've got those. Um, I'll put a link in the description to them. I've got another one here. What's this? Okay. Oh, here we go, 0805, 2000 pieces. I already know what these are. These are um, these are yellow SMD LEDs. So let's see if we can get a close up look. Oh God, they're gonna unravel. Oh no, please don't. Okay, it's already happened, whatever. <laughs> so those are yellow SMD LEDs and those are gonna be for the crap badge, which means I can finally put the kits together. <laughs> I thought that's what these were, but it was a bit difficult to tell when it was inside um, the package. So hopefully it means I can put those little kits out soon. Let's see if we can, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I'll just put them to one side. Next up, we have something that I've marked with WL, which means wish list. So this is something off my wish list, and I have already opened it. And I know what it is. Uh, this is a frequency counter kit, but it's slightly different to the previous one. This one has um, a section where you can plop in, plop, plop, plop in um, a crystal. So you can read a crystal directly, which is great. So um, I don't know what the loading's like on the crystal, but um, we're gonna check this out at some point, put it together. It's got a PIC microcontroller that uh, is running the whole thing. So we'll see what that's like eventually. All right, this one is sealed. I know what this one is though, because you can, well, you'll see when I open it, you can feel what it is. So these are, I won't take them all out. There's um, one, two, three, four, four rolls here. This is thermal paper. So there are four rolls of these and that's to go with this thermal printer. If I can open it up. It came with a short roll in here. Um, will that fit in? I'm gonna have to take some paper off this to make it fit but that's not an issue. Um, I don't mind wasting a little bit of it. If it means we've got some extra, I can't get it out. <laughs> there we go. Um, so it's a little bit um, more densely packed. I don't, I don't know how to describe that. There's more paper on it basically, but I thought if I'm gonna be testing this, I want, the, I want to have enough so that I can mess about with it. Um, I didn't want to start with this and then realize that I've run out by the time I wanted to do a little video on it. So. We've got uh, four more rolls, which should keep me going for a while. Oh no, five more, five rolls. Miscounted there. Now 
Next up, we've got another one that I've sort of opened already because I couldn't, right, you know when you get a package and you know it's what you ordered. <laughs> well, you think it is because it's arrived at the right time, but I was feeling it and I was like, what is this? <laughs> so anyway, it is some silicon wire. Let's just see if this has got my address on it before I open it up. It has got my address on it, but I can tell you this wire was in total £2.35. Um, how many meters is it? It is five meters of silicon wire. So silicon sleeved wire. So this is, uh, I don't know how many cord does it say? Well, it's 22 gauge. It doesn't say how much how many um, strands it's got in there, but uh, so I've wanted some of this for a long time because it's like nice and, and malleable and it should, being silicon, be fairly heat resistant. So um, it shouldn't shrink too much. I don't know if that's true. Um, I've never really worked with silicon wire before, so we're gonna try it out. Should be fun. Next up, we have this, which is just a flat envelope, it seems it isn't. In here, can I, have I opened that? Yeah, I have. In here from BR Trimmings, um, use the code BR5JAN, Brian, maybe, I don't know, for a 5% discount off their website, apparently. These are little bronze type, we're gonna have to come in a bit closer, aren't we? Uh, bronze type, I'm gonna say bronze type because I don't actually know what the metal is. We can find that out later. These are, I'll focus in, there we go. Little bronze type discs, they're super thin. And the idea is, and I'll throw a picture up on the screen, is to create some battery eliminators for CR2032s. So that's a CR2032. And I bought some of these discs because they're a very similar size, if not exactly the same, 20 millimeters. Um, they also have holes in them that I can put a wire through and solder if I want. Now what I wanna do, and maybe have a wire going through, I'm not sure. What I'd like to do is create some battery eliminators for CR2032 cells for testing. So I can hook them up to my power supply um, and run it from that. So rather than solder wires directly to something like this little guy, um, I can shove in one of these battery eliminators. God, that's actually gonna fit quite well, brilliant. Um, with a bit of foam core or something like that, well, some of that double-sided foam, I'll pop another one on the other side and it should replicate, emulate one of these CR2032s and then I can have wires coming off these. I'm hoping that's the case. I would like to try it out. I couldn't get hold of these battery eliminators in the UK. I can only get them from America. They're designed for sort of Christmas decorations and they're too expensive. I mean, I could get hold of them, but it would be too pricey, I feel. So um, I thought, why not try and make my own? I did try and just get some metal discs, um, but, and ones that were like 1.5 millimeters thick but I couldn't, couldn't find anything. So these are gonna be my solution. Hopefully they are electrically conductive. We can give that a quick test, I think. There we go. So they are electrically conductive. They might need cleaning a little bit, but they should be fun to play with. Let's pop them back in the bag and uh, we'll do that in another video, I think. It feels like I've got treasure. Oh, these are, uh, these are meant to be for sort of stamping. Um, so like it would be a pet tag or something like that. Um, so you would stamp a number on or something. But they were kind of cheap. I don't know how much. I'll see if I can put a link in the description. But they're incredibly thin, it's like 0 0.5 millimeters thin, thick. So next up is one that arrived today. It has a very convenient pull tab. Let's come out a little bit, shall we? Very convenient pull tab. 
and that is oh this is brilliant so this is an mcp4131 which you know we all know is a <laughs> we don't all know if you don't know all that um, number means it's actually a digital potentiometer so this is a 100k pot essentially in a, a digital package so you can tell it to go to resistance whatever through i think it's i squared c um, and so yeah, I'm going to be using that. And the reason I want to use this, um, and the reason I sort of looked for one, I think oh, there's only one in here. They're kind of expensive if you buy them from the UK um, via eBay. You can get them pretty cheaply elsewhere, obviously. But um, the reason I picked this up is because I want to use the TPL5110, which is that little timer chip. I think I picked one up about I don't know. it's probably like six months ago now and I've only used it on the breadboard I haven't done anything else with it and nothing useful and the reason I didn't use it is because it doesn't have like an easily settable time delay and I wanted the microcontroller to be able to set that time delay and I couldn't find one which had like a little memory in it where you could say do this in whatever time and it would remember and keep that time because I don't think they have RTCs in them they're just sort of resistor capacitor type Based timing. Anyway, the TPL5110 requires a resistive, uh, uh, a resistor, <laughs> let's just go with that, a resistor on one of the pins to set the timing. And it looks, and I'm not entirely sure from the data sheet, it looks like you can set and forget this. So I should be able to set this. It has a tiny current drawer of its own. I should be able to set it and leave it and it will work. I shouldn't have to continually like um, talk to it via I squared C. So I should be able to have the microcontroller set the time delay for the TPL5110, which is this low powered timer chip, which means that I can take any microcontroller. It could be a Raspberry Pi, it could be an, any kind of ESP8266 or something and have its, I mean, admittedly low sleep current down to something a lot lower. This can go down to like the nanoamps, I think. So we're going to try it out. Not this. I mean, the TPL5110 can go down to the nanoamps, I think. So we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I will show you regardless. Uh, next up, we've got this one. Now, I don't know what this is, but it's from a UK seller. Um, and I don't remember ordering anything. Oh, yes, I do. OK, well, this isn't very exciting because it's just a uh, it's just one of those Wemos clones. If I can get it out, I'm actually doing something kind of interesting um, for work. So we have there's a building at my work with uh, and I'll show you a picture when we get around to sorting it out. But there's a building at my work with three glass bridges. Um, so it has um, three floors, one glass bridge, one glass bridge, one glass bridge, and then underneath you can walk underneath all of them. And at the moment they're illuminated with these green LED strips and they're sort of breaking half of one LED strip works. Another one's only got a quarter that's still working and they are only green. They're not RGB or anything. So I said, well, why don't we get some of those RGB LEDs, the SK6812s or something. And we'll use them along with a microcontroller like this. A little uh, ESP8266. We'll drive them with that and we'll have an interface um, that you can use on a mobile phone. So I can connect to this. It'll be its own little web server and it will have the files on there that create a web page uh, with some pickable colors. So that's what I'm going to do with this. And I'd forgotten that I bought it because it wasn't really for me. It's for work. What's up next? Ah, last up is one that I have already opened, so I apologize, but, and I've marked it with WL because it's a wish list item. This is a little games console handheld game thing. So I won't get it all out, but I mean, it's fairly easy to see from here. You've got uh, directional buttons, a couple of buttons here, a big old microcontroller, which will be what one of those ST type. It's an, yeah, the STC 15F2K6 OS2. That might not actually be the right number, but we've got like a 
one of these three digit seven segment modules, a massive old chip with a big wide style, got some buttons in there and not much else really, apart from these really cool, what are they? Eight, uh, they're eight by eight um, LED matrices, matrices, which sit just here. And this thing plays Tetris. I'm super excited about it. So this is a kit. So thank you very much to whoever sent that in. Um, but I'll be making that one Sunday and it should be fun. Anyway, that is everything for today. So um, hopefully you enjoyed that. And I'm really excited about playing with these little coins, the coins, the little tags to give that a go. And the TPL5110 finally doing something with that other than just putting it on a breadboard because that wasn't entirely interesting. So. All right, I'll uh, see you again soon.